Hello everyone, Trumpet Master here, Cake Charles. Welcome back to the League of Legends, and this is round seven and eight of season three in 2021. How's it going? It's been a good one, and so far into the championship, I'll, I'll let you guys have a chance. If you guys haven't seen the other episodes, yet, um, feel free to go and check those out in the playlist uh, I'll have at the end of this video, If you, or I might put one down below as well for you guys, just so you don't have to skip all the way to the end. But anyways, let's get right into this, and right. So in this championship currently, I have a pretty sizable gap. I'm pretty sure I had a 40-point lead at the this point and it was very good and yeah i was um very interested as you see here i was kind of having a kerfuffle that um i wasn't quite onto my grid spot but i was still in position so it wasn't really big of a deal but in this one i'm gonna i'm gonna say this right now because there was a menace on the track is uh how i like to describe it is is a guy that just kind of bends to the rules to his favor in terms of you know taking you know, taking incidences putting having not exactly a regard for other driver space and awareness and it caused me to spin out and um I'll, I'll, i won't tell you who exactly it is i'll just let you guys see for it the guy ended up getting disqualified for it and as a result it put me in new put spot higher into the race so um it worked out in the end for me and the guy that got penalized got, was got his uh do justice i guess you could say and yeah so, so overall it wasn't actually as bad as it could have been considering what happened with the spin but it was actually um it was actually still a good race nonetheless because uh i was like in hindsight 2020 i could have passed this guy and i could have won the race and it you I mean like i did have it passed and then yeah it was a whole kerfuffle but anyways i'll get back to you guys at the end of this race and transition to the next one and i'll see you guys there feel free to like if you haven't already subscribe if you want to see more and put a notification bell whenever these go live and right, hope you guys see you there. I'll be back into the start of the next round.
Yeah, and as you guys can see right there, I wasn't exactly too pleased with that maneuver by him. Granted, I could have probably shut the door to even have him have an opportunity there into that corner, but you normally don't see anybody make a move like that commonly in the front field because it's, it's just not worth it because you lose so too much momentum to get the pass done unless you wanted to like take the guy out like he just did there. Anyways, the guy that did that was actually leading the rental heavy field at that, at that moment. Granted, he got up there with a false start because he literally went before the lights even went out. That's how he got up that high. But it was nonetheless not not too pleased with that and you're going to see in the rest of the race I kind of just had a red red mist just going I was just not too happy at all and I was even after the race I was just like what the heck what the heck are you like I didn't I didn't remember the number exactly I remember the helmet but I was like who the heck like why would he do that and then I just at the end of the day he got disqualified for that maneuver which which was good and by the stewards on this one by the by the track guys to do that it was well deserved and yeah, I'm not going to name the guy. I don't remember what his name was anyway, so he was qualified for it. And at the end of the day, the right call was made. Sorry about that, the cup back in like that, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the rest of the race do the, just play out.
right, so what happened there was um, I ended up in P2. After all that, despite that, that guy in the orange shirt there you saw I just passed was actually the the uh, second place in the rental heavy, other than that guy that um, got disqualified. He was actually technically the leader, but he got disqualified, so the guy in front of me won it. There's only just like a couple tens between us. I didn't know that at the time, so I was thinking I didn't want to pull anything too aggressive. If I knew that at the time that he was like in the rental heavy, I would have gone for it in the sweeper here that you see right here. I would have went for it, but yeah, it's not too not too bad of a result. Anyways, it's been it's been an okay. It was actually okay for this one, even though it was a bad race technically because I got spun out. If it wasn't spun out, I probably would have won the race. Um, so it would have been a, I could have actually potentially gotten uh, two wins on this weekend if I could have done that. But uh, we'll see if we can actually get a win in the next race. It was actually a really good one. It was a fun race. I got to I got to be near the uh, top of the light battle, and I actually got to just sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch them fight it out. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I hope you guys do enjoy this next race. We're gonna watch. It was actually a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to that one. We're gonna go ahead and watch that one. And it's gonna be quite fun. It was it was a boring one in terms of actual battling for me for my actual class, but it was fun just to uh, sit back and watch the years of the lights go at it, and it was a lot of fun. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys near the end of this one, and I'll see you guys there.
so at this point of the race, I was actually pretty satisfied with where I was, because I knew I was well into the light field. It was basically, I was thinking at this point, I'm pretty sure everybody ahead of me is in the light class, because I was not getting challenged by anybody, and the person ahead of me, I knew Jason, he was in the light class. He's actually one of the championship uh, contenders at the moment. So I was like, you know what? I noticed my, I'm miles ahead of my, uh, my next competitor, like, just on track. Not even just in the next light or heavy or whatever, whoever was behind. It was still quite a big gap. I was like, you know what? I know everybody's in the light class ahead of me. I think I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to bump draft Jason because I noticed his straight line speed wasn't quite as good as mine. And there was no point in me fighting him because it would literally just mean that it would just be a pride for me really to get past another light car. So I was like, you know what? Let's get past. Let's, um, let's do a little bit of bump draft and get Jason up the field a little bit. And maybe we can make a lead battle in the light class more interesting. And... A little behold, I did do that, and it was an interesting finish, and I'll let you guys actually uh, play that out as um, as we see here. I'm getting close enough. I actually would end up bump drafting Jason a couple times going into turn 7, which is a long sweeping right-hander. did help him a little bit, because he, he wouldn't quite get as much drive off of the turn 6 before he could get there, and I would just give him a little bit of a tap, just give him a bit more speed, and it was actually really good for him to do that. It benefited him big time for this, for this race, and he... he um, he, said, he even told me if I didn't do that, he probably wouldn't have caught up to every, uh, all those guys and had a shot at the win at this one. So, every, uh, you're welcome, Jason, and shout out to you. It was a lot of fun in this one, just watching the entire battle the entire time. It was basically five cars, you know, line of stern the entire time from this point out. And, like, four light cars, and then there was me in the heavy. <laughs> I hope you guys do enjoy this one, and uh, I'll go ahead and get you guys in the end of the race.
Yep, so overall, that was actually a really good race for me. It was actually very happy with that. As you guys can see, I actually lapped the entire of the, um, the rental heavy field. And as a result of that, it puts me at 102 points. I don't know how they got that extra point in there. I think there's an air championship. It should be 101, but it's 102. I'm not going to complain. If it really matters at the end, I'll tell them, hey, it's it was 101, not 102. But it's not so far. And it's I'm just pulling away ahead at 50 point lead. And I'm very happy with that. Been very good. And and um, yeah, basically I have uh, to do four more rounds before the drop rounds start to kick into play. And I'm just thinking if I'm at round 12 and I'm in the lead of the championship, I might just actually end the championship for myself at that point because basically no one can catch me at that point. But it could end actually in this coming round, um, rounds nine and rounds 10. If I win both of the races, I have a shot at winning the championship outright. But it would have to, it would not only take me to win both of the races, it would have to be some something to happen into the lower ends of the field to have that happen. Right, it was overall very good. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Feel free to leave a like if you did. And um, if you guys want to see more of this, uh, feel free to hit subscribe so that way you can see more of these later. And feel free to hit that bell when uh, these things get posted out. Normally, I get these things out every um, Fridays, generally. But sometimes I get them out on a Wednesday like this one. So, yep, I hope you guys do enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time.